If you enjoy my videos, like, comment, and consider subscribing. Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Bits and Knits. In today's tutorial, we're gonna make an adorable crocheted mug cozy. So I have a few different colors here, nice dark blue, a light blue, and a marinated yarn, more of a Christmassy color. So the size that we're gonna make today is this smaller size is more for a standard mug size. This one was bigger for one of the bigger kind of jumbo mugs that you find now. Now to make the bigger one, you would just start with a longer starting chain, but today we're gonna make one of these standard sizes. I will put down in the description the materials I used for all three of these. So grab your yarn and your hook and let's get started. To begin, we're gonna make a slip knot. And we're going to chain 11 plus 1, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So for our pattern, we need an odd number and then plus 1 for our turning chain to start our first row. So as we work down for our first row, we're going to go into the second chain from the hook and make a slip stitch. In the next chain, we're going to make a half double crochet, so just yarn over, pull through your loop with three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through to make your half double crochet. Next, we're going to make a slip stitch and again a half double crochet. So we're going to be working down alternating our slip stitch and our half double crochet. And you began the row with a slip stitch, so you're going to end the row on a slip stitch. And the last here is a slip stitch. So that is row one. We'll chain one and turn. Now we're going to begin the next row with a half double crochet into the very first stitch. And then working a slip stitch. And then a half double crochet. So again, you're going to alternate your half double crochet and your slip stitch all the way to the end of the row all right so I just completed my slip stitch and we're going to end this row with a half double crochet because we started it with a half double crochet chain one and turn. So same thing, now we're gonna go back to starting the row with a slip stitch into the very first chain. And that is basically it. You're going to alternate your slip stitch with your half double crochet and you're alternating the rows. Starting the first row with a slip stitch, second row starts with a half double crochet, and so on. And just remembering that you're going to end each row with the stitch that you started it with. So we started this row, row three, with a slip stitch. So we're going to end this row with a slip stitch. So the last stitch, again, will be a slip stitch. Chain one and turn. So we'll keep working up exactly like this. Go ahead and pause the video and I will meet you when we get there. All right, so I worked up all my rows. Now you could always just get your mug and 
just fit it to your mug to make sure that it's going to fit nicely. This here is Oh, that's centimeters. Ten and a half inches by about three inches. So that's a standard mug size. So from here, we're going to make our uh, little chains on the end so that we can connect it to the handle of the mug. Next, we're going to chain ten. nine, ten, and then come over to the other side here and we'll slip stitch into this corner. And from here you can snip your yarn and just bind off here. All right, so that's one side and we're gonna come over to this other side and we're gonna do the same thing. Just insert your hook into the corner. And connect your yarn. From here we'll chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and just come right on over to this corner and we'll slip stitch to connect. Right, again, we'll just snip our yarn and just bind this off. Right, next we're gonna weave in our end, so I'm just gonna do that quickly and I'll be right back. All right, my ends are all weaved and you can see with this varinated yarn, it's a little harder to see the pattern, but it still looks really nice. So we'll just fit it right on our mug. And it fits quite nicely. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.